Hi, it's David if you haven't watched before and welcome to this Leisure Bit Techno where we're going to cover power stuff. <laughs> So I've decided to replace the charger in the van because I'm contemplating on getting lithium batteries and just wanted something that I could uh, keep an eye on what's going on with it. So I opted to go for the um, Victron uh, Energy, the Blue Smart Charger 1230. And I went for the single output one um, because I think that, that covers what I need. It is available in a multiple outlet one. I think it's three outlets. And essentially the connections to it are a mains plug to plug it in, uh, which just feeds in the bottom there. And then you've got two output connectors. Um, in order to get to the output connectors, um, you just pull this cover off there and you can see there is a fuse and the output connectors. Um, you can use it as both a charger and a power supply unit. So it's uh, very useful for that point. So. Essentially, I can just replace the um, the CV's power supply with it and use this as a replacement. And you can use the app, which we'll cover at the end, to monitor different uh, parameters, change the settings of it, depending on what type of battery you've got, and also change other, other settings and uh, see what's going on and see the history of energy usage. So that's the um, smart charger. And the next... Uh, power gadget we're going to cover is the MPPT solar controller and uh, what the difference is uh, the standard solar controllers are PWM which is pulse width modulation they work by providing a reasonable power output but um, what MPPT does um, it generates the maximum uh, potential from the solar panel, hence the MP, uh, P and T's tracking, um, so that you get the most power out of it. It's, it's a more advanced way of uh, working. So on this particular one, um, there is a battery connection which connects to the battery or what's being charged essentially. PV is photovoltaic, um, or basically the solar input. And then finally, there's a load output, uh, depending on how you've got it wired up. In a future video, I'll show you this being installed in the van once the van arrives and uh, with, with, with all the other bits and pieces as well, I'll go through and explain how I'm going to fit them um, when the van's in situ. This is just basically to give you a little bit of a view on it. Um, the reason I went for, for one of these is I want to get the most power out of the solar panel that's installed. So this made a lot of sense. The second bit as well is, like the smart charger, it gives the ability to monitor and change settings via the app. So um, really useful if you want to keep track of what's going on and just monitor to get the, the, the best out of your system. So that's the um, smart solar controller with Bluetooth there. And again, it's another one. Matching with the set, the reason I, I got them of a similar make and style is I didn't want too many apps cluttering up uh, my phone so it's quite easy then to go in and access all of my different gadgets um, from uh, Victron Energy so um, I chose that but again other makes and models are available uh, this is just the one I chose as it, it fit my particular needs and the final power gadget I've got to show you today is the uh, smart shunt. You have a look at that one. Um, and what the smart shunt does is it connects off the negative of your battery and measures the power um, that's going through this thing, which, which is called a shunt. Um, and it measures how much power is coming out of your battery or going into your battery if you're charging it. So it's really helpful to get an overall view of, of what's going on there. So, for example, if you're charging with solar and with the smart um, controller, and maybe even from the battery, although you wouldn't be doing two of those things at the same time, or, or you wouldn't be doing more than two at the same time, I should say, um, then it's really helpful to keep uh, the full picture this gives. Um, 
There's also um, a connection here which connects to the positive just to power it and then there's an auxiliary input and there's two options you can use for the auxiliary input. You can see the two inputs there. The first one is to use it to measure your auxiliary battery voltage so it could be your, your vehicle battery because we will already measure the voltage through this cable for the leisure battery so for a, another battery we can measure the um, voltage with that or alternatively you can use it with a, a temperature sensor here's uh, one I bought earlier um, which connects into the same auxiliary um, input on the smart controller smart shunt sorry um, and that allows you to measure the temperature instead of the battery voltage so it's a choice between one of those and whichever one's more suited to your needs you can use there and again you can use the app to monitor this now there's one gadget you've probably spotted in the power category that I haven't actually shown you and the reason I haven't shown you this particular one is because I'm not sure it's actually needed because I think the the van may come with one of these uh, but and if not I'll purchase one to complete the lineup and what it is is a battery to battery charger and the reason I want one of those if there's not one included is just similar to the solar controller to make sure the battery gets the optimal charge as I'm planning on putting lithium batteries in, it makes a lot of sense to use the, the, the best method of charging those up. And traditionally vehicles have come with a split charge relay, as they're called, uh, which feeds power when the uh, van's running from the alternator through to the leisure battery. And this um, particular battery to battery charger um, works with smart alternators which are on the latest uh, vans smart alternators help conserve fuel uh, but they also cut the power um, so it doesn't work particularly well for battery charging and things like that so vehicles with a smart alternator are typically fitted with a battery to battery charger which then kicks in when the there's sufficient power available so the app that comes with these particular devices offers a number of features so you can adjust settings uh, you can change the mode of operation so say for example from power supply to charge and power supply or, or just charge and ch change the battery type the method of charge and all, all the good things like that um, for this particular model you just get it from the either apple android or whichever other app store and the the phone or the tablet or whatever device connects via Bluetooth to the uh, various uh, gadgets that we've had a look at today, the various power gadgets. And uh, that allows you then to see various bits of information, how much power has been consumed, historic power consumption, and all of those good things. So fairly straightforward to use, relatively easy to set up, but that gives you a view of the sort of things you can do in the app. Again, we'll go into a little bit more detail when we do the installation because we'll go through a setup. Um, if the firmware as it's called, which is the features and functionality that reside on the uh, device, if that's not up to date, um, the app automatically offers to update that. But worth noting, if you're updating the firmware, make sure you don't disconnect the uh, power during that process as it, as it can cause uh, damage. So that's the... Um, power stuff or power gadgets um, i hope you found that useful again we'll follow on with a installation video as soon as i've got the van and have chance to uh, do it but in the meantime if you've got any questions please pop them in the comments uh, for further information on the things we talked about you find them down there in the comments uh, if you've enjoyed the video please give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content really appreciate uh, if you subscribe as it helps the channel grow thank you so much for watching and you take care